back on the homestead. Today, this morning, I'm gonna start working. Uh, well, I've done some uh, tree cutting where the shed's gonna be. Uh, I need to clear some more so it's easy to drive back here with the tractor. Uh, I did uh, some uh, cutting the trees the other day. I was getting my uh, CrossFit workout, so I was using an ax to cut them down. And I'll uh, show you. Got quite a few down. I want to get these ones here in front of the pine trees. The shed's going to be pretty windy today. Hopefully it's not making too much noise. The shed's going to be a 16 by 20 with a lean-to off the, the east side uh, to put the tractor in. I'm going to take down these trees right here as well. You can see the tape for the property, the corner marker for the property lines there. Got some nice big landscaping rocks we've been digging out. So those are those other trees. Want to get that one? Those few right there. Right now, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cut them up into uh, logs. Stack them up over here, and then. Uh, and we'll go from there. So, anyway, I uh, woke up with a stiff neck the other day, or a trapezius that's killing me. So, I don't know if I'll be swinging the axe too much today, just using the chainsaw. So, but of course, we've got tons of trees that are down. The moose have, and we got tons more that are going to die because the moose have been eating all the bloody bark off of them. Let me show you that. There you go. See that there, way down in the woods in there, up there. Need some moose deterrent. So you can see where the house and the shed are at. Down behind the shed, we've got a little bit of a drive or a clearing, I should say, to get a tractor back here. We've got a tree down. And as I turn, you can see we are looking at the area of where the shed is gonna be. This is all cleared out. We're clearing some more trees this weekend to prep for getting ready for the shed. Okay, finally got the chainsaw going. You know how that is. So a lot of trees down here. It's got to get all chopped up, stacked up, cleared out. Time you go, you gotta readjust it. Chainsaw's not cooperating. Doesn't want to idle. <laughs> if anybody knows how to freaking adjust a chainsaw, you let me know. <laughs> Well, I think you adjusted it eight ways from Tuesday. I know. <laughs> it was running just fine the last time. Nope. 
start the goat. <laughs> Looks like it's leaning that way more. I mean, it's not leaning at all, but yeah, that's what I. It's going! It's going! It's going! Yeah. There it goes. Did you fall down? <laughs> okay. I was like, the tree went that way. Okay. The tree went that way. Yeah. yeah, I could see it start leaning. I was looking at the top. here digging out stumps one gone Catherine on the tractor digging out stumps Why do you lie on the dirt pile? Why do you do it? Take a stump out and Vigo wants to lie on the pile. Well folks, uh, day number two this weekend, we are having a lot nicer weather. So uh, I'm gonna check in on Brian to see how things are going with, uh, uh, with the chainsaw. <laughs> I definitely had a hard time yesterday and. I had to quit filming because we had some rain come in and I didn't want to get my equipment all wet. So he was out here a little bit digging out stumps. Um, so let's see how far he got with, with all of the uh, clearing out in the shed area. Okay, this, sh this one was pulled out yesterday. Looks like we've got this other one over here pretty much completely removed. Oh yeah, you can see the remnants of it over here. Big old stump. Looks like there was another one down here. Well, how's the chainsaw running today? The same. The same? It oh. won't idle. It doesn't idle. <sighs> Seems to be cutting just fine, but. Yeah. I mean, it, it doesn't even try to idle. No matter how many adjustments I've made, it's. Mm. I'm sure there's some trick, but you'd think at some point I would it would have been idling a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it just shuts right off. So there's four screws in it? Is that what you said? Yeah, uh, there's a throttle and there's a high and a low adjustment. Mm -hmm. And so, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a chainsaw expert. Not, we bought the wrong brand, perhaps. Yeah. Kind of slows things down when you're trying to cut up trees, I suppose. Yeah, it's very irritating having to restart it every time. Yeah. Or sitting there trying to keep it going. Yeah. With the throttle. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's looking pretty good, so. So I'm going to take this down. We'll make a nice, clean, straight edge there. Mm -hmm. And then eventually put a pile of stone on it. But bring it right up here and then kind of grade this down a little bit more. We can pull this dirt down and that can extend out more and that'll give us a nice flat. I'd like to have enough, like six feet on both sides that you could at least maybe drive a four-wheeler across mm -hmm. or around. Yeah. And then there'll be a, you know, enough over here that you could drive the tractor down and around the whole thing. So. Okay. 
Nope. In the whole footprint of the building, you're... So, 16 feet wide by 20 feet long, the, the building part, and then a, a lean-to to put the tractor under that's 8 feet wide. Okay. So, 8 feet by 20, so 24-foot footprint for the building. So that, yeah, we definitely need a permit for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just barely, I mean, it's just over like 100 square feet. Mm -hmm. But, well, I shouldn't say that. It's 120 and over 120 square feet is permanent. Over 250 square feet, you need engineered plans. Mm -hmm. Maybe Mike will give us a stamp of approval for a couple hundred bucks. <laughs> He's uh, an engineer. So. Yeah. But, well, cool. Yeah. So okay. I'm just gonna clip, move these logs, and then when Catherine comes out, she can work on this. I gotta go get more diesel. Oh, okay. But then I can start working on the stair treads. Okay. So. Good stuff. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. The plan, I think, for getting all this prepped right now you know i know we're working on the stairs is so that right. the kids can kind of take over the clearing of it right right, right so yeah. that's yeah you know have an extra person running the tractor and stuff like that right yeah all right so there are see i mean look at the big rocks we got out we can use for landscaping mm -hmm. yeah so and that's just from right here pretty so. pretty big i'll put a foot up there it's yeah. definitely definitely large that's sized huge. Well, nice day. You gotta make, gotta make use of it. We only got half a day yesterday with all the rain. <laughs> I know, but you know, tomorrow's supposed to be really nice too. So oh, okay. I thought it was gonna rain, but the, when I looked this morning, the forecast said yeah. sun. It's gonna be a lot cooler. Okay. But uh, sunny all day, so that's fine with me. Okay. So high, low, and throttle is what it has. And so you just keep turning, you keep sticking a tool in there and turning yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know what the hell to do. Yeah. <laughs> so, is, of course, this is irritating. The handle's right in front of it, so when it's running and you're trying to adjust. Oh. You gotta, you know, it keeps pulling back. It's a pain. So you think it's it's not a gas problem? No, it's an adjustment problem. Okay. Adjustment or brand problem. Brand. It's a Husqvarna though, Varna. Husqvarna. I know. It's fancy. Are those pretty good? I'm, I'm sure it's just me. <laughs> That's what happens when you can't be an expert in everything. That's right. You know, there's only so many things you can yeah. you can know how to do. So. Right. Anyway, we'll take some tips, guys. What do you? What do you? How do you? How do you get a? How do you get it running? How do you? How do Nicely. You your, how do you run your chainsaw? No. How do you? Uh, what's? What is the issue when it quits idling? What is that? Yeah. What is that? going on there I don't know maybe we just uh, you know Craigslist it and just get a new one yeah was it, you didn't didn't Dean borrow it and there was problems like two years ago with it or I something? don't know he said it was running funny maybe but it's I mean I in the grand scheme of things I haven't used it that much yeah I know <laughs> you barely used it oh that's a big one Woo. Yeah. Jeez. oh that was that big tree that you tumbled but you yeah, yeah, that's right there. Okay. Huh. Wow. Okay. We need to do something with these stumps. <laughs> well, we'll let them let them dry out. <laughs> that's what we'll do. Yeah. Once they're dry, I mean they're easy to move. Mm -hmm. There's so much water in them. Probably 200 pounds of water. Yeah, yeah, they're wicked heavy right now. I was moving last spring. I was moving all the brush piles and the stumps, and it was some of them were like impossibly heavy <laughs> i think we're gonna have to put a put a snow fence up right here oh yeah you know because all our snow piles up right there the, yeah there was four feet of snow back here in april so yeah so we could just you know from one to one tree to the next just take some uh, small tree pieces and put them across or even get some pallets and stand them up or something well, we've got that cheap snow fencing. That would blend in with the woods. Yeah, but it doesn't it doesn't hold up to the wind at all. So maybe, maybe it'd be better just because it's next to the trees or something. Right. Hmm. Probably. 
Lots of things to think about. It could be uh, temporary. Yeah. Temporary. temporary. So. See how see how it holds it since we already have it. Right, yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. Let's get them back to work. Wow. <laughs> right where you wanted to go, too. Right, it was uh, it fell perfectly down the path. It was uh that tree was dead. Well, yeah, I was just looking at it and then I looked up and I saw no leaves, so. That's a fun with chainsaws. Yeah. <laughs> well, even when not, the, not this chainsaw. Yeah, not this chainsaw. <laughs> even if we're, even if it's working at 50%, it's <laughs> uh, well. Two more stumps to dig out. What? Two more stumps to dig out. I know. Right there. Well, folks, I think it's time to get my gloves so I can start moving this wood. But we would love to hear from you as far as uh, ideas you have about chainsaw health. <laughs> um, how do you get your chainsaw to idle properly? What are the settings? You know, is it something else going on? Is it not related to the throttle or the high and the low? Um, he's just spent a lot of time working on those things and it just seems like uh, <laughs> they don't really seem to make much of a difference. So not really sure what's going on. Maybe it's just a bad chainsaw. <laughs> but anyway, guys, we're going to get to work here, stack more wood, um, clear things out, get that area ready, prepped so we can get started on getting a foundation ready for the, um, for the new workshop there. So I got other things to do today. I've got to check on the bees. Um, we're going to get back to working on the steps. Uh, we got a lot of traffic up and around here too with uh, the nice weather in the summertime. Lots of four-wheelers, dirt bikes, cars on the back trails here. So it's been kind of fun. Um, feels like, you know, people are out in the, you know, wanting to get out into uh, uh, the woods for the summertime and have some fun with that. So anyways, guys, uh, that's the update here for today. Um, just want to get your thoughts on chainsaw action and some of the clearing that we're doing for um, for our shed and then um, we'll up to keep you posted on the stairs and some more, you know, the thing, you know, the bees and even the retaining wall. We still got a lot of work to do on that. So we'll catch you next time, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.